It's a concern that all people should have uh, when consuming uh, illicit narcotics. Five people are in custody tonight charged with felony counts of possession or delivery of a controlled substance. Those arrests follow last week's surge in overdoses across the city with Austin Travis County EMS responding to 79 overdoses and nine possible deaths now under investigation. But the catch is police haven't made a direct connection between these arrests and the victims. The individuals arrested during these uh, investigations um, are not linked uh, as of right now to any of the overdose victims. In a press conference Tuesday afternoon, Austin police told reporters this investigation is far from over. That includes the possibility of looking into whether murder charges can be brought against suspected dealers, which Lieutenant Eastlick says takes time. What's that going to look like and in, in what direction are you guys heading in for that? Um, how that looks is we have to be able to, to uh, based on the aspects of the law for murder, we have to show that the person not only delivered fentanyl, to an individual that resulted in their death. That link has yet to be made. Lieutenant Eastlick even went as far as to say they currently have no suspects in custody who are directly responsible for those overdoses and deaths. Arrest records we've obtained show investigators used sting operations to make these arrests, with most of the investigation reportedly focusing on North Austin, downtown and southeast Austin. We reached out to a spokesperson with the Combined Law Enforcement Agencies of Texas, or CLEAT, who criticized what she labeled as defunded narcotics operations in Austin, saying APD's ability to proactively prevent or address narcotics-related issues, such as the overdose cases we experienced, is virtually impossible at this time. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.